Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry if my voice sounds a little weird, it's because I've been getting kind of sick. I mean, it's just that time of the year and, you know, most everybody gets a little sick around this time of the year. Um, and also, sorry for the lighting, I use, or I try to use natural lighting, but it's been really cloudy here in Georgia because we get all sorts of weird weather. So, but anyway, I wanted to film um, me getting ready. And um, today I used my Coastal Scents Revealed palette. This is the first one. This is the look I was wearing in my Vitacost haul that I filmed New Year's Eve. Um, and I wanted to recreate it for you today in case anybody was wondering how I did it. But um, here's what the palette looks like in case you've never seen it. Um, it's very reminiscent to Urban Decay Naked 1 and 2, of course. And... Um, I was super excited to get this. I actually got this in my BoxyCharm box for the month of December. I was super happy to get a full size palette in um, a subscription box and I couldn't wait to try new looks with it. And I'm definitely going to be doing more looks with these because these are absolutely gorgeous colors. The formulation is great. The pigmentation is awesome. Um, there's really no complaints I have with this palette, except it is a little bit powdery. But I mean, if you just tap your brush off, it'll be fine. But um, yeah, again, sorry for my voice. It's, I don't know what's going on with it. But um, yeah, this is the look I created with it. But anyways, I hope you enjoy getting ready with me. So to start out with, I'm starting with my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Now I'm taking my Hydrating Under Eye Primer from e.l.f. and I'm putting that underneath my eyes. It really helps um, make your concealer go on smoother. Now I'm taking my Georgia's Aloe Spray Mister and spraying my face with this before I put on my foundation. And for foundation I'm using my Wet n Wild Coverall cream foundation in the shade Fair with my Coastal Scents Bionic Flat Top Buffer. For concealer I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in the shade Classic Ivory. And I noticed that like when I try to get the product out when it's sort of in the cap, it makes less of a mess. So that's just a tip. Next I'm taking my Be A Bombshell Smooth Criminal Powder and with an e.l.f. small taper brush I'm going to be setting my under eyes. taking my LA Girl Pro Primer in the shade Nude and I'm going to be using that as my eye primer. And I'm going to be buffing out using my Real, Te Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. And I like to set my primer when I put it on, and here I'm just using a skin tone color matte eyeshadow, and I'm using a flower, um, I believe this is called just an eyeshadow brush from her line. And I'm just sweeping that all over my lid to set my primer. So the star of the show is my Coastal Sets Revealed palette, and the first shade I'm taking is this kind of taupey grayish, almost purpley color, and the brush I'm using that with is from the Coastal Scent 16 piece pearl brush set, it's the concealer brush in that set, and I'm just taking this and sweeping it all across my lid. Now I forgot to put my transition shade down first, so I'm taking this matte brown shade on an e.l.f. crease brush, and I'm just going to be putting my transition shade into, onto my eye. 
I usually do this first before I put on a lid color, but I just so happen to forget this time. So as you can see, I normally put it on before my lid shade because it just makes everything more easy to blend doing this first. Now to deepen my outer corner, I'm taking this almost burnt plum kind of shade on the dome shadow brush from that Coastal Scents brush set and I'm putting that on just the outside of my eye and I'm going to be working it into my crease. I don't go all the way in but I go about halfway and then I blend the rest into it so it gives that nice smoky effect. Now I'm just taking this icing eyeshadow crease brush I found at Claire's forever ago and um, I'm just taking that and I'm blending out all of the shades together to get a real nice smoky effect. And you just want to keep packing on the darker color and blending it out until you're satisfied with how it looks. In case any of that taupey color got lost in the mix of all the blending, just reapply a little bit more. You only need to apply it to the inner two thirds because it's going to be pointless to do it on the outer portion since that's where your dark color is. So I'm just re-intensifying that taupe color. Next I'm just taking the Starlux Gem Pencil in the shade Topaz. I got this in an Ipsy box forever ago and I'm just now using it. But um, I'm just running that on my lower lash line because I just wanted like a pop of color because everything was pretty neutral on the top and I haven't, like I said, I haven't used this ever so I just thought it would be pretty cool to use. Now from the BH Cosmetics 11 piece Pinka Dot set, I'm taking that flat eyeliner brush in this shade from the Reveal palette and I'm just um, smoking out and smudging that eyeliner I just put on to give it a more softer look. And I also sort of drag it out a little bit to make like a little wing. It's not noticeable at all, but it just gives a little flair. I'm taking that lighter matte brown from the palette on the e.l.f. crease brush and I'm just running that underneath the blue. It doesn't really add a lot of color, it just softens it ever so slightly and it brings the whole look together. Now I'm taking that like light frosty champagne color on this small shader brush from the Coastal Scent brush set and I'm just highlighting my inner corner with that. And I love an inner corner highlight so I kind of go heavy handed but of course if you don't like it this light of course you can do it to what you like. Now I'm just curling my eyelashes, getting ready for mascara. I got these forever ago at um, Claire's. Like, the pink's fallen off and everything. I need to get me some more. You see the struggle I have trying to get it on my eyelashes. Like, I need a new one. Now I'm taking the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes sample that I got in my Ipsy bag last month. And I'm just applying a quick coat of that. that coat of mascara is drying, I'm taking my Physician's Formula, oh gosh, Mineral Airbrushing Pressed Powder SPF 30 in Creamy Natural, and I'm going to be taking that on this powder brush from the BH 11 piece Pinka Dot set, and I am just setting my foundation. Back to eyes, I'm taking my Wet n Wild Mega Plump Waterproof Mascara and I'm just going to put that mainly at the root of my lashes to kind of um, help them keep their curl. I'm also going to apply a coat to my bottom lashes. Now for eyebrows, I'm just quickly running over them with the e.l.f. essential spoolie thingy, whatever, the $1 spoolie. 
And I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Taupe. And that's what I'm going to use to fill in my brows with. Next I'm just going over my eyebrows with a clear mascara just to set them in place. This one's from Black Radiance. I just didn't want to show you the packaging because it's, yeah, it's kind of icky. You know, clear mascaras get icky. Next I'm taking the bronzer from the e.l.f. Cheeky Glow Set from their holiday collection on the angled blush brush from that Coastal Scents brush set and I'm just contouring out my cheekbones. These were the e.l.f. Mineral Pearls and they had this, this is in the shade Natural and they also had one that was like complexion colored. And I'm taking this on the Kabuki Sculptor from the Coastal Scents brush set and I'm just going over that contour. It doesn't really give a ton of color, it, it makes your skin look more skin-like. Like, it brings that glow back to your skin without making it look shimmery or anything weird. I hate that this was limited edition, but I know Physician's Formula makes these kind of pearl things. So now for blush. I'm taking this blush palette from e.l.f. in the shade Dark, and I'm taking this shade right here on a stippling brush from e.l.f. And I'm just putting that on my cheeks. Kind of focusing more on the back part of my cheeks. I really don't like putting it on the apple. I lean more towards the back, going towards the hairline, as you can see. And I'm just blending it out with that Kabuki Sculptor brush from earlier. Now I'm taking the highlighter shade from that same set and using the L Flawless Concealer Brush. And I'm just putting that on the high points of my cheeks, on my nose, on my cupid's bow, above my eyebrows, so basically everywhere. And my chin too, I guess. I forgot about that. Now I'm taking this Heritage Store Rose Water and I'm going to use this to give my face a good final mist. It helps bring the face back to life. It removes that powdery sensation. And um, here's a final look. So that's it guys. That's the look I created for New Year's Eve using my Coastal Sense Reveal palette. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And until next time, bye guys.